Hey guys, it's been a hot minute. It has been a but hot we're minute. we're back. We, if you can probably see, we have a full car behind us. We found on Airbnb a cabin that sits on 1,300 acres yep. of private property that they yep. Airbnb out. Yeah. So we rented it for a weekend <laughs> and we're gonna go uh, get away from everybody. Yeah, we're gonna get away from literally everybody. Uh, Cora's coming with us. She doesn't really like car rides that much, so we're hoping she doesn't get car sick. Yeah. That happens. But we are so excited for this. We got the dirt bikes. We got the one wheel. We got our dog. We could go stargazing. We got the hammocks. We got like burgers and steak. Like, oh man. Yeah, there's like a grill and everything and like a fridge and stuff at the cabin. It's off grid, but it has um, like propane and electricity for yeah, the like a generator. Yeah, like a generator that can give you a little bit of electricity during the day. But we just grabbed some lunch. Packed up all morning. Get on the road. Now we're filled yeah. with food. We're all ready to go. Gonna fill our stomachs and then uh, get out of here. So we'll see you at the cabin. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we're here. We made it to the cabin. Yes. And um, it's really quiet out here. Just you can hear the waterfall that's on the property. We're sitting on the rocking chairs in the front deck. This is what we got going for the front deck area. We put our dirt bikes there. You can actually see like the little town and like some farm roads and stuff there. Cora's just living her best life over there. But there's trees. And there's some other stuff that we're going to go around and show you, but we'll show you the inside of the cabin later because it's run with a uh, generator. generator. That's the word I can think of. It's run by a generator and we haven't turned it on yet, so it's pretty dark in there. But when we turn the lights on in there, we'll show you. So, yeah, it was like two or three miles driving in here and it was really nice. Well, so I was worried because there was like a bunch of cows. It's like the whole area has a bunch of cows, but then once you get right up here, you actually get like full trees. Oh man. And I have missed the trees so much. But yeah, like Sammy said, we got our dirt bikes out. We got a little settled in and uh, here's the little cabin. It's just got a little loft, but we'll show you inside later and a little bit of landscaping. So the stoves and refrigerator all run off of propane. Um, there's plenty of propane around here. And then they also have a generator for, for electricity whenever you need it and extra gas. And they said they didn't have AC, but there's AC in here. And this little back porch, it's really cute. Honestly, I, I really like the way they laid out this cabin. A little short here, but some nice grills, or a grill and then a huge griddle. I haven't seen one of those before really, and it's really nice. But you get like an overlook to a little picnic area with a fire pit. We gotta go check out the waterfall because there's a waterfall there and then it seems like there's a creek there's that kind of goes through a here. There's bridge right there. We can go show them the bridge. I wanna go across it really bad, so. Yeah, we can go do that because we haven't even checked out any of this. We've just kind of settled in a little bit. Unpacking took a bit. Yeah, it's really cute and really quiet. We're not used to it being so quiet. We live on a pretty busy street. Yeah, should we try to go down here? Yeah. She's zooming. I know. She's a little bit faster than me. Oh, also when we were driving in, we saw like two things. They weren't deer. They're kind of like antelope things and two turkey. So I gotta kind of keep an eye out. She doesn't chase a wild animal because I don't know if she'll come back if she sees something she really wants. But look at this though. This actually like has some water flowing she in it. We already went and walked through it. <laughs> yeah, Cora loves water. This little bridge is cute. 
cute little bridge. Oh, okay, so it looks like at some point some come over there, but most of it comes from the waterfall. Tetherball, tetherball. <laughs> <We'll get it. laughs> uh. <We'll get> it. <laughs> <laughs> she ran into you. She's already so muddy from getting in that water. <laughs> what? He just missed it, but she came and put both hands on it when she was holding it like this. <laughs> No, leave it. Come on. So yeah, it looks like they've got like, this area honestly would be perfect yeah. if you had a bunch of people come over and you could set up a bunch of tents. Oh, there's like a little hanging swing thing. Oh yeah, and there's a little hanging swing down there. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, is this where they have? Hopefully this isn't the septic system, but. Probably is. Yeah. I'm getting it, Cora. A little vent. They have a bunch of water on top. <laughs> Cora is living her life. Oh, wow. Come on, this way. They weren't kidding. That is like a whole waterfall. Holy cow. That's bigger than I thought. Same. Look at this. <laughs> so it's like hey, multiple waterfalls down there all collect together. Coming down over here, too. And then they all pour in down there. That's so pretty. Looks like at some point they were using it to siphon off to somewhere else. Probably some water ponds. There's a lot of cattle on the property. But like, the water's so clear. <laughs> She's modeling it for you. <laughs> Cora, what do you think of it? You like it? She's got a sticker on her. Yeah, that is one thing. There's, are they called stickers or yeah, whatever? Stickers. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I think she likes it here. <laughs> yeah, I think she likes the water. <laughs> so, overall, I mean, there's a decent amount of bugs here, but. I mean, look at that. Come on. <laughs> like, what? We've been really impressed with this. We. Not regretting our choice to. This waterfall is way this. cooler than I thought. When they said waterfall, they have like kind of a picture of it on the on the listing, but it didn't look as cool in the picture as it does in person, like that. That's like a legit waterfall. Yeah. So. So, and we had to book this like a few months in advance, and we just like booked it for the first available weekend, and then waited a few months. So. This has been a long time coming. Yeah. So that's kind of the property, at least this little part. Again, 1,300 acres, so there's a lot to uh, there's a lot to go through. Yeah, so the waterfalls they connect right there, and they kind of split up. So I almost think maybe let's just walk up. It looks like there's a little road here. You want to walk up and see if we can get to the top? So we do have some friends coming up, and we're a little worried that they that their car because like we brought our truck, but they just have their car and. Uh, there's like a little stream crossing. I mean, nothing crazy. You just get your feet wet if you tried to go through it. But so we're worried that maybe his car Look can't make it all the way up. On the rock. Wait, which rock? On the rock, right there. Oh yeah, look. Dang, he's not scared of you. So, and we don't have service up here, so we gotta go try to get service and talk to them because we might need to park their car down there. And, drive and then up. drive them up. But, but we have the dirt bikes. We have the truck. We should be just fine. Farmlands. Look at that view. I will say, most of the time I'm not fully impressed with Utah, but this property is kind of uh, it's kind of impressing me. It's pretty beautiful. I like Utah. It's just a little dry. It's a little dry. <laughs> it's it's a bit dry. You can tell. So over the last few days we got a ton of rain it's been like weeks of no rain 
and then it all just dumped. So maybe the waterfall's more glorious than usual because of all the rain. It could be, but you can see like, I mean, probably even yesterday, this was just a mud trough trying to come down through here. So it's dry enough that, you know, we're not sinking into it or anything. So it looks like we did find the top of the waterfall. A little pipe for it to come through. Comes down through here. I wonder if this is where they grab the water for the cabin. That's why I don't drink the water because it's just literally straight from the stream. These rock formations are pretty interesting. Cora. <laughs> yeah, so it's interesting. It's just like, but so it kind of just moseys on through all this grass and it's probably is a lot more than usual. It's probably just one little stream and then like pours down over there. So I think we made really good timing with this. It's pretty fun. All right, we're gonna try to get our friends here deal with our dog a little bit because she's getting a bunch of stickers Sarah, on her. Come on. What? We'll show you the inside of the cabin when we get the lights on. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, so here we are. You can hear the generator on the back, but the lights are on. You walk in. There's a little fireplace where it's cold. It was not cold to need that at all, but then there's the two couches. That's a pull-out bed, so one to two people can sleep down here. There's a loft up there. And then just a little kitchen area, super cute. And then this um, has like four chairs so we can play games and eat here and stuff. And then there's just a little bathroom, which is cute, works great. And then let's go up to the loft. It's a ladder. And then up in the loft, there is another queen size bed. The pull out mattress downstairs is also queen size, so you can see. And then there's a door that leads to two twin beds. So you can have two more people in here, and then one to two people right there. So you can, you can sleep like six people in here comfortably without anybody having to be on the floor or anything. So, it's really cute. There's a fan. But, oh, also this gate like closes, which is pretty good. Nobody can accidentally fall down the ladder. <laughs> but yeah. Mm, look at that fire. Oh, Woo gosh. Okay, we have a fire going. <laughs> we just ate dinner. We had hamburgers. And now we're gonna roast some marshmallows. Gotta yep. wait for the coals to get low though. But, it's very dark, if, as you can see, you can't really see anything, but anyways. Not to brag, but that is such a perfectly golden marshmallow. I uh, just gotta toot my own horn a little bit. Sammy's over here lighting her stick on fire and <laughs> I'm breeding perfection. Just thought I'd show you guys. I already nibbled off some of the edges on here, but those uh, jumbo marshmallows are a little hard to look at mine. to do. Yeah, look at Sammy's. It's burned. It's <laughs> it's burned on the tip a little bit, but it's looking pretty good. So marshmallows, check. I mean, s'mores. S'mores. <laughs> s'mores, check. Now I just need to eat this without looking like a child. Okay, so we're gonna make some pancakes. We have bacon. We do have bacon. And then some pancake mix over here. The place we're staying at, as you've already seen, has a really big griddle. So we're going to try to make huge pancakes. Plate-sized pancakes. Yeah, right. plate-sized pancakes. So hopefully it'll fit the whole rim of that. We'll see how it goes. Let's freaking go. We do have two friends here. We would not normally eat all this bacon ourselves. So... Yes. We're really pumped about this. Those are gonna mix together, I think. But boy, they're big. And for reference, it's a big pancake. Moment of truth. 
Oh, you might actually. Oh, that is beautiful. I didn't think he was going to be able to flip it so easily because they're so big. Oh, hey. Pretty much got it. That's that's a freaking good pancake. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Dang. Let's go. We eating good this morning. Okay, so we're at the pavilion and yep. there's like a big pond, like a fishing pond and recreational pond. And Cora has been learning something new. Big step. It's a big step for her. She used to be pretty scared of stuff like Water this. At all. Yeah, she used to like be scared just to swim, but now we got her to dive off. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. She went the other way, but she dove off the little, yeah, the little dog. We're just trying to get her to warm up so she'll go off the big dock. Yeah. But for now, that little she's tiny so one, she's doing a great job. Wait, come up here. There you go. Give it to daddy. Don't throw it super far. Yeah! <laughs> I'm like such a proud mom. <laughs> you got it, jump! Get your stick. She's so scared. I had to let her go get it from over here so she doesn't lose the stick. Okay, go get it. Get it. <laughs> She's just too scared. That's yeah, okay. I mean, this is already a big improvement. Her swimming out so far to go get something. It's over there. Of course, that way. That way. There you go. Yeah, she never used to swim this far, so progress. I'm surprised she doesn't want to go over the geese over there. I'm not complaining. I think they could beat her up. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, good job. This water looks kind of gross right now. Ready? Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. How do you teach dogs uh, dock jumping? Is it just something they know? Cora. You can do it. You can do it. You wanna go try? Go get your stick. Good girl. No wait, come here. <laughs> she, she's made up her mind. <laughs> she's made up her mind. I know a better way. Well, we gotta practice off the other dock a little more, I think. Yeah. Good job, Cora. Oh, but she's doing it there again. It's so funny. She's like more scared of the end one, even though it's the same height. Great job! Oh man, that looks so good. Wow! Yeah. The little ones are getting about ready. Chicken looks good. Pond, lake, thingy looks good. <laughs> What? Watermelon tastes good. Tastes so good on 1,300 acres. Hmm. Yeah, so they have this whole, they call it the pavilion. So you've got like a lake, little paddle boats, some docks you can swim off of, fire pits, swings, and like a paddle board and stuff. Some uh, bathrooms, whole covered area you can eat with with a skillet and a barbecue. Tons of parking. There's tons of fish in here and there's like a fishing pond down there. This place honestly is really great to hang out at. And Cora is just living her best life yeah, today. Yeah, this is a really good day for her. <laughs> good times. All right, we're pedal boating. No, Cora, stay. Sit. We're pedal boating. Here's our friends. Cora's on the back. She keeps thinking she wants to go jump over and swim to them, but I don't think we'll be able to pull her back in. No, stay. Stay. Good girl. It's beautiful. Coley, what do you think? I like it. This is kind of fun. It's been so long. I've never been in a pedal boat before, so this is fun. I'm enjoying it. Nice and calming. <laughs> This is great. 
This is really great. Like one person, it's like you push on it. And push. And push. This works better though. It's over there. She, I don't think she's ever been on a boat before, so this is a new experience. I think for she's her. also mad we're leaving our friends. Yeah, she almost just started swimming after them. <laughs> anyway, two, one, go. <laughs> They're pushing us. No. I think this one has a defect. There's no way they're pedaling that much. Look how we're pedaling faster. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So the weekend's winding down a little bit. It's the last night that we're staying here. So probably gonna be really tired. So we loaded up some of the bikes and the other dirt bike stuff tonight just to kind of prepare because we're not gonna ride them anymore. But you can see we've got some kind of darker clouds and raining out there a little bit and we can hear some thunder off in the distance so might have a little bit of inclement weather kind of rolling in tonight but that's okay we, we finished all our activities yeah we've had some fun our friends went home it's kind of winding down so now all we got to do is cook up that steak i've been having it marinate since like lunchtime, lunchtime today and getting packed up what we can just kind of have a nice relaxed evening maybe play a little ocarina who knows thought i'd give you an update and uh get back with you once we are cooking up that steak yeah, yeah. we're excited Cora is for once actually pretty tired even though she still doesn't act it we can tell they get a little sunburned but what are you gonna do yeah i got a little sunburn sammy got sunburned too I didn't put any sunscreen on, so. Those paddle boats, man. <laughs> We're just really enjoying the river. Turned off the generator so we can just enjoy the sounds. I really hope that some thunder rolls in because I love thunder and I love inclement weather. Like. Inclement weather. Yeah, it just makes you feel so connected to nature. It just relaxes you. So maybe not like downpour on us but it'd be kind of nice to just be able to sit here and enjoy the waterfall and hear some thunder in the distance and eat some steak and this is really all in all it's been a great weekend so far all right we'll get back to you when we start doing the steak though so all right so it is steak time and we are excited so we got wagyu however you spell it or however you say it beef ribeye steak boneless and a pretty good cut pretty thick and we've been having it marinate. So I think our game plan here is we're going to use the griddle and try to just really do a good sear all on the outside. And then from there, move over to the grill, which I already have it preheating. I'm not sure if I want to do it here on the end and then try to do indirect heat to cook the rest of it or do it here in the middle and only have the outside burners going so that we use indirect heat to actually cook it to a good old medium rare. So going to kick on some bluegrass kick up the uh, griddle here and try to give it a nice sear and Sammy's in there preparing some asparagus for us so should be pretty good I'm excited I've actually never cooked steak before so whoops we'll see how this goes hopefully it's not too hard got my father's in-law's advice and hopefully I don't ruin this expensive steak because we just went all out dun 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 That's gonna be so good. I'm excited. I put on the asparagus. We'll show you. There and there. Got them going on the grill. I've never cooked asparagus on the grill before, but you know. I've never cooked steak before, so. So this is all uh, new to us, but I mean, I've done asparagus on in the oven, but we're really excited to eat this. It already <laughs> smells so good. Yeah. We're like, 
it's kind of silly how excited we are for a steak, mm. but like we haven't ever made steak, and it's one of my favorite foods. It's one of your favorite it's foods. It's just, yeah. Yeah, so good. It's just such a good way to end a weekend, you know? Yep. Man, that smells so good. Already. So we got a nice sear on both sides, and now we transfer it over to the grill, and we're just gonna let indirect heat from the outsides cook the inside until it's 140, and then take it off. Yes! He's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. I mean... We have to cut it to make yeah. sure, but I mean, the outside looks so good. Yep, we're just letting it rest. Uh, so far, it looks pretty good. Hopefully, I hit the medium rare spot and uh, we got we the, are so excited. Here, look, the lid. We got the asparagus done. They taste good. We tasted them. But that's not, I mean, that's just because we felt like we needed something with the, <laughs> with the steak, but yeah. that's the star of the Crown show. Crown jewel. Okay, it's done roasting. We waited like four or five minutes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just gonna cut in. This is a lot of meat for two people. Oh. Oh my god. I am, my mouth is literally watering. <gasps> oh, look at the pink center. Yes. That, good? that looks pretty good. First try. I'm excited. I'd say that's really, really good. Let's eat. I'm like gonna cry. It's really good. I think that's all we need to say about that. <laughs> well, you guys, the time has come. Yep. It's time to go home. We're, we're, we're ready to sleep in our own bed. The bed here is not super comfortable, but it's been really nice. Yeah, it's, it's been, been really, really nice. enjoyable. Yeah. Really relaxing. Other than some of the noises at night, but yeah, at like three or four a.m. both nights, like sound like, like birds or something. Birds are like squirrels or something running across the roof, which is pretty loud. Of course, uh, your mind jumps straight to being like, "There's a bear out there." Or yeah, something, it, well, because but... it kind of sounds like stuff was on the porch, but nothing was on the porch. We checked, yeah. but also last night uh, a smoke detector battery ran out, so it was beeping. Oh man! So we had yeah, Colby, like four a.m. Yeah, four a.m. Colby got out of bed and changed the battery, so it. <laughs> Would shut up, but other than that, we slept a lot better last night than the first night. Yeah. I will say that, but we're excited to go to our own bed. So we're cleaned up, we're ready to leave, and I think we're going to sign it off here. And thanks for coming on this adventure with us. Not pictured that we did. I don't think we filmed dirt biking, but we did dirt bike around the property. Yep. We played a lot of board games with our friends when they were here. Yep. Learned new card games. Yep. Cora got to swim a lot, but you saw that. And so. jumped off the dock a bit. Yeah, she jumped off the dock a little bit. Not the back dock, but the side dock, which looked harder, but she thought it was fun. So anyways, she's out on the porch like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> anyways, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.